Hi folks, Damon here. So hopefully this will be a quick one. Um, I wanted to do a quick demo of how to run EMR on EKS jobs using Apache Airflow. So if you're using Airflow 1.0, we've got a plugin that you can download from S3. If you're using Airflow 2.0, um, I've got a beta plugin I'm going to put out there sometime in the near future. But let's look at the Airflow 1.0 plugin and see how that works. So you can install this in your own environment if you download that from S3, or if you're using uh, Amazon Managed Workflows for Apache Airflow, you can also upload the plugin into there. So when you create an MWAA environment, let me go through and just show you what that looks like. You get asked some details about the name and the version. And then down here, you put your S3 bucket where your DAGs and your plugins are going to live. So I'll just say decort DAGs. And in there, I would specify my DAGs folder. <clears throat> DAGs, and then uh, let's say my requirements. And the nice thing about this, the reason that um, we have you create a version to S3 bucket with MWAA is if you have different uh, versions of that file that you upload, you can choose a different version. So that's really nice in case you want to um, you know, keep that same file there, but just change a different version for your environment. So what do those files actually look like? Let me go back over to my um, code window over here. And so what I've got, I've got a quick readme that just goes through how to get this all set up. One, you need to get the... Um, Airflow plugin downloaded from S3. So get that downloaded. You need to make a requirements.txt file, and I'll show you that in a second. And then you need to upload your DAG. So in that requirements.txt, we just ask that um, Boto3 be greater than or equal to 1.17.47. And that's just because the EMR containers API that we called uh, is only available above, above that version, right? So we want to make sure you have at least Boto3 of that version. Um, my DAG is pretty straightforward. All I'm doing is just kind of importing this uh, start job run for EMR containers. And I've got my job driver arguments there where I'm going to start up a PySpark script and my configuration overrides where I'm going to log out to CloudWatch. So pretty straightforward there. And then I'm just going to call EMR containers job start run. So if you're familiar with the EMR containers API, this is just sending a command to that. So you specify your virtual cluster ID, your execution role ARN, what version of EMR you want to run, and then your job driver. One thing I should um, mention is we do pass over a client token. So this is for our dependency purposes. So if you have a job that you want to ensure only ones runs, you can pass over this client token, or you can just pass over a UUID. I'm always passing over a UUID in my job because I always want this one to run. And then we've got a sensor that's going to sit there and wait for the job. So we upload all three of those things to S3. You can see I've got my sample DAG there. I've got my EMR containers plugin there. And if you have other plugins, you can toss them in that zip file too, and my requirements.txt um, file. So I've got all that stuff up on S3. I'm going to create an MWAA environment, and I already did that. So let me go back to that environment. Environment, and we'll just see what that looks like really quickly. So let me click in there. And you can see here's my DAG code in S3. I'm using my decort DAGs bucket. There's my plugins file. There's my requirements.txt, and I'm good to go. So if I hop over to the Airflow UI, what you can see is I've got an EMR and EKS DAG in there, and it's tagged with that EMR containers DAG. And let's go ahead and run that. So I'll click trigger DAG. And I'll go ahead and trigger that. And what that'll do is that'll you know, run that DAG, pull in that plugin, and go ahead and start um, sending this over. So let's see if I can view the logs for this already. So on WAA, the logs are right there, and you can see it's doing a start job run success, and it submitted that job to the virtual cluster. So the um, job submission worked. Let's go back and see what's happening with the second part of this job. So this is the watch job part of it now. And if I view the logs there, we can see that it is going and pulling um, the EMR containers API and getting back the status of that job. If I flip over to the EMR console, I should be able to refresh here and we can see um, there's my job, it's in the submitted state. So the Airflow task went ahead, um, submitted that to the EMR cluster, and that is going and running. One other thing to call out here in your MWAA environment, when you set it up, you set up um, certain uh, IAM role. And one thing I should mention is that IAM role is going to need to, need to have the permissions to call the um, start job run API on the EMR containers, um, EMR containers API. So you might have to add that to your execution role in order to make this work. And so that's pretty much it. This is going to refresh about every minute or so, and it'll keep an eye on that job. And once it's done, which it looks like it is now, it'll report that back to Airflow. So if I go back to my DAGs, um, there we go. That job is done. I'm happy and I can... Um, you know, go on and uh, continue running my Spark jobs. So that is getting the plugin working on MWAA. 
So quick bonus round. Um, like I mentioned, I've got a, an alpha of the Airflow 2.0 plugin. I just want to show what that looks like really quickly. So I've got that over here. In Airflow 2.0, they moved the plugin architecture around a little bit, and now there's an Amazon-specific provider, an AWS provider. And so a lot of the plugins got moved into these different providers. So there's you know, ones for EMR, ones for Athena, ECS, all these different ones. So that's kind of what I've replicated here. I've got an EMR containers um, plugin, and it's all the same stuff, right? It's a hook, operator, and sensor. I changed the hook a little bit just so it submits the job and then pulls the query status right as part of that job. Um, so that's pretty pretty straightforward there. And what I'm doing is I'm just building a pip installable package that I can then upload into Airflow 2.0 and um, pip install in my Airflow 2.0 environment. So I've got that running in EKS. You can see I've got my Postgres um, database there that's running um, for my Airflow backend and my scheduler and my web pods. And so those are all going. And this is my Airflow 2.0 environment that's running in um, EKS. And I'm just kind of proxying this from my, my local machine up there. I've got this Airflow 2 uh, DAG here. And so this is almost the same exact thing as I had in the other one. Um, I've got my code. And in there, like I said, the only difference that I made is I'm just everything that happens in this one singular operator. So I don't have a start task and a, a watch task. I just have this, this single task here. So let's go ahead and trigger this. And we'll see what this looks like, too. That was really high pitched. So you can see it's going ahead and triggering that task. And if I flip back over to EMR, well, we can see that there's um, there's a pod that just started up there. So that's already running. If I flip back to EMR, the old um, Airflow job is now completed. And now we've got a new one that was submitted from our Airflow 2 cluster. So um, again, same exact thing. You just need to get the plugin up into your cluster. Um, the other thing I did here that was slightly different is I actually created a connection specifically for this job. So you saw in my uh, my initial DAG, I had the virtual cluster ID and the, and the role aren't in there. What I did in this one is I actually created an EMR EKS connection in here. And just in my extra information, here's where I specified my virtual cluster ID and my job role aren't. So if I go back to that DAG really quickly, what you'll see is that I pull that information in in the DAG. So I just um, made it a little bit easier if you have different virtual clusters that you want to talk to or have different roles that you want to use. Uh, I'm just pulling in those, um, those arguments via the extra connection details. So I uh, hope to get a PR open for that soon. Um, that is it. So that's running EMR and EKS on your Airflow environments. And I hope you have a good one. Bye.